back to my channel so as you guys know today I'm gonna show you how to do crocheting for beginners it is beginner friendly too and in a slow way so without wasting time let's get started illustration as for the illustration I'm gonna use the blue colored yarn so we're gonna start with making the slip knot six inches and wrap to our thumb like this and now we're gonna pinch it here and now we're gonna take this yarn pull through this and the lip knot is ready the illustration i'm using a 3 mm hook it is based on your uh, i mean yarn size so you're gonna pull this yarn you can uh, i know how to hold like this so i'm holding you're gonna take these three fingers put it like this and thumb and this finger ring finger and push it here so it is based on your how you had taught have been taught so what we're gonna do is roll like this and push it so we have created one single chain you are gonna roll like this and push it I'm gonna roll like this and push it so we had made three chains now it is based on your topic so i'm gonna make 10 chains and then i'm gonna meet you actually i had already made this just for you showing so now i have made 10 rows i'm gonna just show you how to start with another row so we're gonna you can see we have created a small small views in uh, v's in between it so now what we have to do is we're gonna leave this first v you can see this first V we're gonna leave it and we're gonna crochet in second V uh, V. So we're gonna you can just use single crochet, double crochet, double half crochet and triple crochet, but I'm gonna just show you single crochet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this first V and you can see this a uh, hole clearly. So we're gonna just pull through it and gonna take the yarn and we have this two yarns together uh, two holes together we're gonna take the yarn and push it through you can see we had created our first single chain so I'm gonna just show you one more you can do double half crochet but I'm not gonna show you double half you can again go to this one gonna push it we have two ones two holes pull it through so now I'm gonna meet you till I am left with this one row so yeah completed making the first row sorry I just misspelled as second row but this is our first row you can see now from this part it gets very uh, I mean it gets very difficult to find out because it gets very tricky so now you can see here we have a hole in it so we are not gonna add inside this hole it's very difficult to see but you can see over here a small simple hole all right over here so you're gonna just add this hook inside it it's a pretty much confusing you know just add because this part is very tricky look oh god this isn't even going inside confusion has been created then sorry so sorry now you can see here you can see we had completed our first row now what we're gonna do is we're not gonna add anything here we're gonna just directly chain one flip our work you can see the back side but don't worry about it now at the top you can see some more V's what we have to do is we don't have to leave any space here right now just show you a little bit like this so you can just see we don't have to leave any of the space near this part not here but we have to start it start this thing from this one we're gonna just leave this one. we don't have to leave any of this start from this one this one this one and again so i'm gonna just show you I'm gonna just add my hook inside the f 
first two V's. Now, if you want your work to be perfect, you need to add your whole thing into this V's. I'm gonna add a whole thing inside the V's. You can see we have two V's inside our work. I'm gonna just pull the yarn out of the two works. And it's just a single crochet. Now you will say that we are pulling that the, they say oh, we have to start from the starting. Look, half of the tutorials they sh uh, share with us that we don't have to go into this one. We have to go into the first yarn, not into the second yarn, on the first yarn. But they are showing wrong. If you want your work to be imperfect, so you can just uh, do what I'm telling. So what we're gonna do is go inside this both of the V's like this I'm gonna just like this like this and I'm gonna pull it through like so like this so I'm gonna complete till the end and I'm gonna show you how to start the third row because over there it will be tricky I'm at the end and we need to find out from where we have to go now over here you can see a bump here this is the bump i'm talking about so this is the bump and over here you can see the two lines here this two lines so what we're gonna do is add our hook into it i'm gonna just i'm gonna just add the hook inside it oh god wait for that because one insect was just biting off so we're gonna go through this oops it's just happening to my hook today okay so we're gonna just pull through this we're gonna take it out we're gonna just do like this and make a slip knot again we're gonna flip our work and start our uh, another row so we're gonna just go inside this both rows i'm gonna just telling i'm gonna again inform you you can see we have two v's here i'm gonna go inside those v's i'm gonna pull through the yarn i'm holding the uh, uh, work like this so that you can understand it clearly and if you want if you have any doubt and you want this video on daytime so please tell because i was not having time on daytime so that's why and i'm not i'm gonna complete my crocheting till two to four uh, four rows maybe uh, at the end so this will be feeling better because I was on my lamp and my lamp charging just turned off so I need to start on the lights. So this will be a pretty much perfect. I'm also going to show you again how to start another row. So you can see this bump here. We can go into this top bump here. Let me just clearly see it. I'm going to just... Oops. Just pull through. I think the hook size is a little bit larger for me we're gonna pull through it take out the yarn and just do it like that okay i'm gonna complete the row over here only so how to end end project so what i'm gonna do uh is i'm gonna make a slip knot how we're gonna start another row but uh, to start another row we just flip our project so we started to do crocheting but it is unlike it is opposite of that thing now what we're gonna do i'm gonna take my scissor and cut a long piece take my project and pull through the yarn and you can see our V. I'm gonna just take this yarn and pull it tightly so it never loses up. Now, there are two ways to complete the project. Like, if you have uh, this, you can just start to save in, but as you are a beginner, it will be pretty much confusing for you or yourself to be understood. So, what I'm gonna do is um i'm gonna use big star i'm gonna break this a little bit i'm gonna cut this project from here 
put this project from here just leave the simple space here and from here to cut it like this so we have our project done as you can see it is not much more complicated but you can see that the rows are perfectly lined and if it was a larger project then it could be like this i'm going to just show you so this is for an example so this is a larger project which i created it's on work in progress but once i'll complete i'll show you so like this you can create things uh, so i hope you guys like this video and like share and subscribe to my channel and don't for uh, forget to click the bell icon so bye bye